two. It was seven minutes after midnight. The dog was lying on the grass in the middle of the lawn in front of Mrs. Sneer's house. His eyes were closed. It looked as if it was running on his side. The way dogs run when they think they're chasing a cat in a dream. The dog was not running or asleep. The dog was dead. There was a cotton fork sticking out of the dog. The points of the fork must have gone all the way through the dog into the ground because the fork had not fallen over. They decided that the dog was probably killed with the fork because I could not see any other wounds in the dog. I do not think you can stick a garden fork in the dog after it's died for some other reason, like cancer, for example, or road accident. I could not have been certain about this. I went through Mr. S- Mrs. Sneer's she's gate, closing it behind me. I walked over on to my lawn and knelt beside the dog. I had to kept, put my hand on my nozzle of the dog. It was still warm. The dog was called Wellington. It belonged to Mrs. Sears, who was our friend. She lived on the opposite side of the road, two houses on to the left. Wellington was a poodle, but not one of the small poodles that have hair styles, but a big poodle. It had a curly black fur, but when you got close to it, you could see the skin underneath the fur, very pale yellow, like a chicken. I stroked Wellington and wondered who had killed him and why. Free. My name is Christopher John Francis Boney. I know all the countries of the world and the capital cities and every prime number up to 7,507. Eight years ago, when I first met Sobonana, she showed me this picture. It looked like it, it meant sad, which is what I felt when I found the dog. dog. Then she showed me this picture. I said it, this look meant happy, like I was reading about the Apollo space stations. When I was still awake at three or four in the morning, I could walk up and down the street and pretend I was the only person in the whole world. Then she drew me other pictures, but I was unable to say what they meant. I got Sabona to draw lots of those faces. When she write them down to them exactly what they meant, I kept the piece of paper in my pocket and took it out. I didn't understand what someone was saying, but it's very difficult to decide which of the diagrams is most like the face that was making, because people's faces move quite quickly. I, when I told Savannah what I was doing, she got out a pencil, another piece of paper, and said it probably made her probably feel very... And then she laughed, so I tore the original piece of paper up, threw it away, and Savannah apologised. And now I don't know what someone is saying. I asked them, what do they mean? Or oh, I walk away.